Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble a Dell Optiplex uh, Model 9020AIO. So you're just going to want um, a flat tool, or if you have like fingernails, use your fingernails. And then you'll want a screwdriver that's like a bigger tip for desktops and bigger screws. You don't want to use a small screwdriver, you can strip the screws. So once you got all of that, first what you'll want to do is remove the four screws from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, like that, okay? Then what you want to do is um, there's one screw underneath this little hinge cover. So I removed that already, but as you can see, you remove that. Once you remove that screw, you can actually pull this out just like that. Set it aside. Make sure not to mix up the screws because all of them are different, all right? After you do that, there's a little gap here. You can pull on this, and then what you want to do is get your finger underneath and then go around. All right, all right. And then after you go all the way around, if you can't get the side, you can also pull from that side. Then you actually slide that out just like that. All right, I took out the four screws already, um, but there's gonna be one, two, three, four, like that. After you remove those four screws, you grab the stand, the base, and just lift it up at an angle because this little thing gets locked in there. So you lift it at an angle and then you can slide it out. All right, set that aside. Once you get all of those screws out, you're going to want to um, pry around here. So you'll usually have to use a pry tool. Um, so you just go in from the edge like this and then you can pop it. I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand, but I'll try. Maybe, let me see if I can use the, the stand to hold it while I try and show it. Okay. All right, so let's see here. So lift that up. Actually, let me raise this up some. Okay. Won't fall over. All right, so you want to get this lifted up and then I use the pry tool it's easier um, don't insert the pry tool too far just enough to get um, into the edge okay so you go along here once you get it popped out try and hold it open all right and just go all the way along um, once you get the edge the whole thing will actually start popping out so be careful around like the power buttons and things like that but um, just pry slightly um, close to the edge and make sure not to pry the CD drive, okay? So once you get like a corner of it going, you can actually just pull on it and this whole thing will come out, okay? If it's getting, if it's tough to pull it out, you can just continue prying along the edges. Um, but yeah, you lift it up at an angle and then you can move this aside, all right? All right, now, once you get that, here. once you get that, um, you'll want to remove all the screws to take out the hard drive. So there's one here, and then two more here, and then you'll have two more screws here, and then you'll have three up here. So just remove all of those, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? You don't need to remove the one in here, um, and then once you get that, um, the cables are under here, so you'll most likely have to lift from the top this side and then just kind of lift it. It goes actually, the cover goes straight up like that. Okay, so I already actually took the hard drive out. Um, but to remove the hard drive, so there's the CD drive here. So to remove that, um, you use like your nail or pry tool and get between the very front of the connector and the CD drive and then just pry it like that. Okay, you don't want to pull on this, on these cables, because it's bad um, leverage and it can actually break the SATA connector. So you just get a pry tool, your fingernail between there, and then do that. Okay, just like that. Then you can remove it. It's threaded under these, so just pull that out, and then you can move that aside. All right, um, the hard drive is actually held in by another screw right here. So once you remove that, you can actually um, push this box this upwards so you just push on it like that okay all these cables are connected so you have to be careful same thing to remove this from the hard drive you want to get your fingernail between that and then kind of just pry it okay there's no hard drive in it right now but so it's easy but yeah just be careful with those connections and then you can actually move this aside 
Um, this cable is, uh, I believe it's a power cable for, oh yeah, that's the power that goes to the motherboard. So you can't really disconnect that right now. So what you do is once you have that sl slid up, you lift up at an angle like that, and then you can actually unhook it, okay? And that's how you get the hard drive out. The hard drive will be held in with four screws on the sides. So there's two there, and then two more on this side. And then once you get that out, you can actually push the hard drive through the box out of this hole, okay? Then you can see all the fans. Here's the control board for the power buttons and the other buttons on the side and the lights. Okay, so if for some reason these things are breaking, you can take them out. Um, I'm not going to show everything on this model because it's a customer's computer and I'm just upgrading the SSD. So I'm going to just show the stuff that's simple to get to. But then you can see another fan. You can see the wireless antennas. I believe that's the webcam cable. Okay, and more wireless antennas. Okay, and then to get to the RAM, there's this little cover here. So as you can see, these two go on top, these feet. You just pry from the these bottom like nubs here, and then you can lift it up, and then just wiggle it to the side, just like that, okay? So the RAM, as you can see, to get these out, just like every other computer, you just pull the little side things here, start with the top one, but you just pull these to the side, right? It's hard to do this with one hand, but once you do that, if you have two hands, you can pull both at the same time and it should pop up like that on its own. But um, as you can see, this RAM is DDR4, or sorry, DDR3, 4 gigabytes, 12800S, okay? So if you wanted to upgrade it, which usually if you have 8 gigs of RAM, that's way more than enough. So you don't need to do that unless you're doing something special with the computer. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and to put it back, you just reverse the steps. Again, with this, it has these longer legs that you want to go on top. So you make the short legs go underneath the metal piece. And then just make sure to line up the sides so that they're not getting caught on the metal. And then you can just push it down. Okay. Just like that. All right. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try and get back to you. Um, as for cleaning the fans, I have videos on that. Um, so if you want to know what I do to clean the fans, um, just check for my video about how to clean the fans or repair the fans. Alright, thanks for watching. If this helped you, please like and subscribe, because that will help me as well. And yeah, bye.